Well, hello, family. We just finished session one of our six-part series on Elijah as we're going to join him in experiencing and understanding the supernatural. And I hope you were challenged about this lesson on provision. We looked at the situation, and that was idolatry led to lack of provision. And that is uh, unauthorized worship, either because you're using an unauthorized means or an authorized means in an unauthorized way. But then we went on and we saw that uh, God is your source. God provided for Elijah in some unorthodox ways. We're talking about the Raven catering service, okay? And then we saw the secret. The secret is be the miracle for somebody else, for the very miracle you yourself need. And when you put that together then, and you see heaven open for you and do things in ways that only God could do it, his reality becomes real to you. You know, I, I keep remembering uh, this, this story when I took my kids to the Grand Canyon and I forgot to make ho hotel reservations. And we had driven halfway across the country. And when we got there, the hotels were full. And the closest other hotel was an hour and a half away. And I, I mean, I was just put out. The family was a little upset with me that I didn't make full preparations. So we decided to have a meal in this hotel before we did this hour and a half drive to find a place to stay. And that's when Priscilla looked over and said, but Daddy, you didn't talk to God yet. Of course, I didn't want to hear that right then, but I couldn't really say that since I was the pastor and the father that was supposed to be leading the family spiritually. I think I told her, you pray. You know, I, I wasn't quite in a prayer mood. I was tired from driving and it looked hopeless. Well, Priscilla bowed her head and said, Lord, we need you to provide for us because, uh, you know, we're tired and we've come this long way. And wouldn't you know it, after she said, Amen, the head of the, uh, uh, or, or the, 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 the desk clerk from the hotel came over to our table and said, weren't you one of the families looking for a room? We said, yeah. He said, well, one of the families just left because they had an emergency at home, and the people who are ahead of you, uh, they, they've already moved on, and you're the only one I see left. Would you still like the room? I looked at the family and said, shut up, shut up, shut up. I don't want to hear nothing. I was so embarrassed. We got the room that night out of a, a supernatural provision of God. Uh, and, and there are all kinds of stories like that. I want you to have your own. So I hope you're committed to meeting with your group all six weeks, and that I hope it goes even longer than that as you become a permanent part of a group. But right now, during this study together, we're going to see God be your provider. If you didn't get your book, if you didn't get your study guide that we're using for all the small groups, uh, get yours from the bookstore and be committed over this six-week period. Don't miss one unless it's absolute emergency so that you can not only benefit, but help others benefit as well.